many conferences do you attend per year? It varies a little, not too many, maybe at least two per year, <coughs> sometimes more. But too many, there are very many conferences and if you attend many more, then you, you simply don't get the work done. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. And how many papers do you do you read per year? Read? Yeah. Um, well, uh, that's hard to tell. I think many. Uh, I mean, sometimes uh, several papers in a week, or yeah, mm -hmm. it depends. Uh, we want to read everything yeah. which is relevant. Mm -hmm. So quite a lot of reading, and, and uh, you've really got to have the knowledge from the literature at your fingertips in the area that you're working. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're just rediscovering the same thing as yeah. other people. That's true, yeah. <laughs> uh, which kind of paper conference do you read or attend? Uh, I mean, uh, specialistic, generalist, multi-scale or just yeah, basic scale? That's a good question. And uh, undoubtedly, as a, as a researcher, I get more out of attending more specialized conferences in sedimentology, uh, dynamic stratigraphy. But sometimes it's good to go to the broader conference to get a glimpse of uh, what else is going yeah. on. But for the research we do, I think it's you've got to attend the more specialist conferences. How did you change the, the picking of the right reading conference during your career? How did I change? Yeah. Well, I don't think I changed so very much in the way that I read or go to conferences. I think uh, it's a quite similar pattern, uh, but it's good to choose particular conferences or particular papers to read according to the the theme that you're uh, researching at that time. Okay. This is maybe the important thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not so good to just go to broad uh, meetings because then you learn some things, but it's not so relevant for what you're doing. Yeah. 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 And what's the method used to publish a paper? So the audience, length, co-author, the journal, the final goal? The way to uh, your method to do the papers. Yeah. I think uh, I like uh, and I encourage my students to write their papers also uh, as much as possible uh, problem oriented. Right, that they have a problem they're trying to solve, mm -hmm. and they're they're testing out this uh, maybe hypothesis they have. So making it as problem oriented as possible is a, mm -hmm. is a good way because then the paper has a clear. <coughs> a clear objective, mm -hmm. uh, maybe not too many aspects, uh, yeah. focus on a couple of things. Uh, I think this is the better way. Mm -hmm. You know, every so often there might be a broader paper reviewing mm -hmm. work, but most of the papers are, are trying to push the research for front mm -hmm. forward. Yeah. And to do that, you need to be addressing problems. Yeah. So, in the discussion paragraph, for example, you uh, you expect some like a two or three point maximum or I, yeah. I think so I think uh, if you do many more points then you lose the um, the effect mm -hmm. the, the the readers are not so happy they don't like so many points mm -hmm. they like they like a few things mm -hmm. to focus on yeah okay. it's uh, quite important that you know what's going on in the field what other people are doing what progress other people are making because this has an impact on what's done. You cannot really work in isolation. Yeah. would be silly yeah. to be working in isolation. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps uh, painting pictures, you can do it in isolation, mm -hmm. pa paint a beautiful picture, but I think in science you have to pay attention to what's happening mm -hmm. in the field at the same time by other people. And therefore, you attend conferences, uh, mm -hmm. I read papers. And so. I hope it's working this time. <laughs> <laughs>